So, what's up everybody? I'm back today with Farming, not Farming Simulator, what am I thinking? Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Um, we actually haven't played this game in a while, and I may have um, cheated a little bit with the experience, um, only to of course upgrade the garage, just because I wanted to. Um, I'm all unlocked. I don't even know if I have all the tools unlocked yet. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> so, kind of ignore this truck. I do have a couple of DLCs that I bought since I haven't played this in a long time. I've progressed a lot since uh, we played last. So, um, I'm doing a complete um, overhaul on this truck. I am replacing everything on this truck. Um, I did that to a couple more vehicles. So just go ahead and show you real quick. Let's uh, visit parking. Enter. There we go. The thing about this game is it has the longest loading screens. They are very annoying to me. And of course, the game says not responding. Um. This game gonna go. Is it even recording still? Yeah, I guess it is. I can't see the little recording sign. Let's see if I can change that mid record session. Yep, okay. Okay, here we go. We have our Mercedes right here. Um, come on. Next car. Our Corvette Stingray. And yeah, that's about it for now. So what we're actually going to go ahead and do today is we're going to go to the, uh, um, the, what is it called? Auction place. And we're going to check out a couple of cars, maybe bring one to the shop with us. And uh, we're gonna start working on it. It'll probably go through a couple videos. Um, I know this game is kind of old, and I don't really see videos about it anymore. I may just not see them, but I thought I'd bring it back because it's a really fun game. Now, how do I get there again? Nope, that's the paint area. No, that's test track. How do I go there again? Oh, it's here. Yeah, here we go. Um, auction centers. Here we go. <clears throat> so, our uh, frame rate isn't doing very good right now. We're running about 35. Uh, 32. Whoops, read it wrong. That was kind of embarrassing. I don't, I don't think it shows up on video. Anyway. So, come on game load. So, I said it last video, um, I, I'm set, well, I've got a new recording set up now, so I'll, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this one, um, I'm gonna make a new recording setup video in the next couple days, I'll probably record it tomorrow when I get home and, uh, from school. And then edit, and if it's not upgraded, or not upgraded, um, not uploaded tomorrow, it'll be uploaded um, Thursday. If it's not uploaded Wednesday the 24th, it'll be uploaded Thursday the 25th. Nope. Do not want this. Didn't realize, but there's a list of cars on the bottom left. I'm thinking about this. Huh. Just gonna let it sit for a minute. Throw a bid in. Um, I'll bid one more. 
Okay, yeah. I don't really feel like paying fifteen thousand for that car. The M6. I kind of want to see what the GTR is. What the GTR is in real life. But I don't know what it is in the game. Come on, game load for us. The M8. Looks like Beamer. BMW. Maybe. I, I don't know. I can't think of cars right now. What that's supposed to be. Um. Jeez, that's got a, such a high starting bit. Um. If it goes above like 32, I'm not going to get it. Yep, the 32. Um, yeah, I wish we could do engine engine swaps on this game. Just swap a V6 for a V8 in one of those cars. Here we go. Wait. To me, right there in that picture, it looks like a Mustang. It is not a Mustang whatsoever. That's good. Good. It might be, I don't know. But I'm gonna actually go with this one. Uh, let's go next car. The GTR is actually the next car. <laughs> if I don't like the next couple cars, I'll stop the recording and go back and get that, um, oh, here we go. Yep, taking this one. I went with the uh, Mustang now that I'm seeing the price of this one. Plus, I've already got one of these. But I'll, uh, I'll probably just sell one of the two. Looks to be in pretty good condition. So, this might be a pretty easy restoration. Jeez, almost a $50,000 car. It's going to take a little bit. So 62, 63, 64, okay, 65,000, 66, 65 and a half, pretty much. Uh, let's move this to the garage. We bought this car for $65,659. That's expensive. <laughs> Starting bid was 28. Jeez, about 40,000. That's 30. So, um, we'll just go ahead and, where is this, the play mode? Next car. I want to see the, I know what the Moolock is, but I want to see the next one. Actually, it was restoring one of these at one point. I didn't like it, $501. This little car is annoying. It was easy to find parts for, but it's just kind of annoying. It's so small and compact. Uh, yeah, okay. So, now we have a um, very cool car to upgrade now. Well, not quite upgrade, but restore. I wish we could do some upgrades. And this game has some very long loading screens. I wish would uh, load faster that would be really nice running about 35 frames right now not the best oh drop down to one probably because about to load okay again come on yeah so um, I'm gonna try and start recording videos like maybe once a day or maybe one every other day or something like that um, instead of waiting weeks at a time to <clears throat> uh, upload a video, 
So, car looks all right just visually. Um, we're, what we're gonna have to go ahead and do is, uh, well, I kind of want to see in it first before we run. Manual. It's pretty cool. It's a cool looking car. Um, I love these doors. So let's actually go ahead and run this on the. I forgot. I need to move it in there. Test bath. There we go. Can we see it in there? There it is. So what we're gonna do after we test it on here is we're going to. Um, we're gonna actually probably just fix the body panels, get it looking good for now, and uh, paint it later. Well, fix the body panels later, maybe in another video. But we're gonna actually just start tearing the engine down, and, uh, replacing uh, stuff that we need to replace. So, um, yeah, uh, it's just that's what's gonna happen. And then after we, probably after we, um, so after we actually get the engine working, and if it, the car doesn't work already, well, obviously it works because we're driving it right now, but. Um, once we get to the, the car in really good condition, like to where we can resell it to make a profit, then we, uh, oh geez, yeah, um, then we will, I forgot what I was saying anyway, so, um, let's go ahead and actually move this, it's too busy running those tests, come on, Moving this. Get that out of the way. Okay, so. Um, go okay so car value currently is 52,000 and we're gonna probably want to get it up to about 70 I think we did we buy it for like 68 or something like that I think that's what it was I don't, I don't even remember come on click on it. there we go so what we're gonna ha go ahead and start with is um, brakes and well the whole brake system um, and then, I'll probably call it at that for this video, and uh, the wheel hub looks fine. Let's go ahead and replace this mention too. Come on. Can I reach it at the top of the screen? There we go. So we're going to go ahead and do the suspension too. There we go. Um, the steering not going to let go. So, just gonna go ahead and pull them all off, and then we'll uh, actually replace the rims too, since we're gonna be working on the wheels. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, just, I guess, replace them. Nope, don't want to do that. Uh, the rear suspension looks fine back here, but I'll replace it anyway, I guess. Where'd the trunk go? <laughs> I don't think we took the trunk off. Pretty sure that's just what was missing. Jeez, we almost paid like 70 for the car and... Jeez. We, uh... Didn't even have a trunk. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and get these wheels off. Come on, wheels. Okay, so... Come on, get the brake pads off rotors and we'll uh, start by buying the parts so we're gonna need what is this car even called jeez 
Royal GTR. Right, yeah, okay, here we go. Um, car parts, here we go. Oh, and calf blocks. I see what I'm doing. I was, oh geez, that was so stupid. Okay, so we're gonna need ventilated discs. Brakes. Brake, disc, ventilated. Four of these. That can't rhyme. Two, three, four. Run by brake pad. Um, yeah, I guess we'll probably replace the uh, brake servo and the ABS pump and the ABS module just because that is all part of the braking system and it's all pretty much important. So let's go ahead and start putting this car back together with the new parts. Okay. Parts going on. Nope. Uh, Rim Modern 6. One, two, there we go. Uh, wheel Shop. Here we go. Rim Modern 6. One, two. Whoops. There we go. Very nice looking wheels. Probably shouldn't put the wheels on. Yeah, I'll leave the rest off just in case we need to get to. Can I put the suspension back on? I didn't even take this side off. It's front of shock absorber cap, uh, double wishbone shock absorber. We do need to remember that part. So, um, car parts. Here we go. Uh, running gear. Let's see. Front spring. Are there any other type of springs? The others were yellow. I guess not. So we're gonna need that, we're gonna need a spring cap, another spring cap. Um, double wishbone shock absorber. We need two of these. Front shock absorber cap. Um, what? Else, what else? What else? Uh, rear shock absorb cap. Two. There we go. Um, I thought about replacing the suspension arms, and I'm gonna actually leave them because they look fine. Um, they should be fine. So this is pretty much all stuff you general maintenance stuff. All the brakes, the brake system, and springs, and stuff like that. So, let's put that on. Now we'll go ahead and throw the rotors on, and the new brake pads, and then the new caliper. Go ahead and throw the two caliper bolts on. Glad it doesn't make us hook up the, uh, I accidentally hit exit. I'm glad it doesn't make us hook up the black, uh, not black, a uh, brake line, because that would kind of get annoying after a while. The uh, brake line does go right in the caliper, so I'm glad it doesn't have us do that. We might actually replace the mufflers too, just so we can get new tips on them too. I wish we could just buy new tips. That'd be kind of cool. Just so we can get nice and shiny um, tips on the car. Go ahead and throw all this back on. There you go. Now we're uh, back to the suspension. Oh, I don't want a rim. I don't want to put a rim on. There we go. 
Okay, now we've already done that. So, um, this video has been about, say, 20-ish minutes. So I'm actually going to go ahead and call it now, um, end the video here. Uh, we'll pick it back up with the, like, the uh, engine next um, time. We'll probably place the engine heads and the intake manifolds and the... Oh, we're actually not done. Brake servo and the brake... Uh, where's the thing? Oh, jeez. Was I stupid? Bought the... Uh, ABS module. Where did I even buy? Let's see. I wish it was alphabetized. Let's see. Catalytic converter. Cam gears. 17 valves. Suspension arms. Air filter. Cover. Oh, yeah. We need to do the air filter, too. Um, sway bar base. Part missing. Wheel hub cap. Oh, brake servo. Yeah, okay, that's the parts that we've already taken out. Um, so, so, the new uh, brake servo on. Next video, we'll do all the uh, oil, and, well, no, actually, we'll have to save that for later. But I'm actually going to replace the coil covers, the um, engine head cover, and maybe the intake manifold to get the top of the engine looking all nice and clean and amazing. Um, this does have the big V8 and it looks one, two, three. Oh, well, yeah, it says V8 right there. Um, okay, so um, I guess we'll do all the general uh, engine stuff and go back to the uh, whole exhaust system. I will probably not replace the whole exhaust system just a little bit, but. As I said before, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And once again, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content such as this. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you all later.